Tricky and I'm back with another video. So on this video, I want to teach you guys how to fix the problem of having your credit scores different on all three bureaus. So if you guys look at your credit reports, you may see that, you know, your credit scores are definitely different on all three credit bureaus. A lot of people see this in their scores. Maybe you'll see that your Equifax is 31 points higher than your TransUnion. You're trying to figure out why is that? Like, what happened? What do I need to do to fix that? I want to show you guys how to possibly fix it. Um, and why is that even happening? So you guys can try to understand that it's just different on each bureau regardless. And it's based off of what you have on your reports. So I have a sample report here that you guys can look at. This is a sample credit report. So if you guys were to look, they have negative accounts. So that first uh, column that you see, that is Experian, and then Equifax, and then TransUnion, right? So if you guys or to, let's look at your account or look at their accounts, they don't even have this account that's listed as a charge off here, this U.S. bank one. They don't even have it on Equifax, which means that that's not going to lower the Equifax credit score. If we look on this one, they have original creditor, which is just a collection, basically. They have it only on Equifax, which means it's not going to mess with Experian or TransUnion. Then they have another collection here that's only on Experian, and then another one, a medical bill that's only on Experian. So you can see these accounts not even on all three credit bureaus, which means it's not going to affect all three credit bureaus, if you can see this. So that's why I tell people, if the accounts are not listed on all three credit bureaus, and that's why it's not going to affect all three credit bureaus. Maybe you just have one account on a certain bureau and it's not reported to the other bureaus. And I thought about making this video based off this comment. And I want to show you guys how you can fix it. So somebody said they have 700 on Equifax and TransUnion, but on Experian it's 638. That's crazy. That is crazy. I know what you mean, but I've been there, done that. My utilization is less than 10%. So that's really good. Um, I still would suggest to bring it down to five, but that's still really good. But I do have a dispute with Verizon um, and it's in a class action suit. Um, I sent the dispute letter to the collection agency. It came off one month and then came back on. So I'm gonna send another letter stating that they violated my rights reporting them to the Better Business Bureau. That's a letter. Um, there's a letter for that. There's definitely a letter for that. So if there's... Um, if an account get added back to your credit reports, they have to let you know in five days that they're going to add it back. Hey, we're reinserting. So you can look up a reinsertion letter um, and let me know if you guys need a letter like that. Or say if you ever need any letters, I can create letters. I know exactly what to put on letters. And I have a lot of letters that I don't give out that I know that work for certain accounts, um, especially like Verizon. I know what's going to work to get that Verizon off. But you got to remember when it comes down to adding these accounts back on, you got to remember whatever account, I mean, whatever address that Verizon is using to report this account, that's the address you got to make sure it stay off your credit report so that they can't reinsert it. And she's also said, too, you're right. You can't wish them away. You got to be on them. You definitely got to be on them. You cannot wish these accounts away. But as you can see in her example, um, her credit score is in the 700s on two bureaus and on Experian is 638. But then she also said, too, that Verizon is on Experian, you know. So that's the reason why it is a lot lower. So that's why you have to remove that account that's on that Experian report. And if you have any other accounts, like this person have a lot of negative accounts on all three bureaus, but they're scattered on which one they're reporting to. They got to make sure that they just start removing those accounts. And they may be stuck with one or two accounts still reporting. Um, they may be having to fight those for like a year. Um, but at least they got most of their accounts off. And on top of that, their credit score is going to eventually go up, go up more when those accounts are removed. Now, look at their positive accounts. So this is reporting to all three bureaus, that positive account. You see how all the positive accounts are like reporting to all three credit bureaus? That's good. But once the accounts go negative, you're going to start seeing some of them fall off. And then some of you want to start disputing. But again, these are reporting to all three credit bureaus. So if you guys have a lot of negative accounts, the first thing that I do suggest that you guys do is I suggest that you guys remove those negative accounts from your credit reports. I have free dispute letters here, and I even have a sample of us putting together 
some letters on my live. This is what you guys are going to get. Send in this free dispute letter. List your name, address, your social security number, your date of birth, which bureau you send the letter to. Because I just showed you, you got three different credit bureaus. You got to figure out which bureau it's reporting to and put it on that letter. And list all of your accounts. All you have to do is list the account name and account number and Say if this is not enough room because you got a lot of accounts, make more space. Check out some of my live videos. I show you exactly how to fill, fill this out. But send a letter in to the credit bureaus that have that account removed. Now, if it's a collection, send them the debt validation letter on your second month. So after you send out that first month, that first letter, you got to wait 30 days. After the 30 days, you can send that debt validation letter. Ask you to validate the, let, the, the debt and then put that. You see me listed on your report, credit report, okay? And then let's see if that account is going to come off because a lot of times the collection companies are going to be scared or if they don't respond in 30 days, they have to remove it, okay? Same thing with the credit bureaus. They have to respond to you in 30 days. If they don't respond in 30 days, they got to delete every account that you have listed. That's why I tell people to send it certified because you got a paper trail on how they did not respond. Um, also, you have the inquiry letter. If you guys have inquiries, remove your inquiries because you may have a lot of inquiries on one bureau or two bureaus, and it could bring your credit score down based off of those bureaus, too, because you have those inquiries. But that's really the first thing. Start removing those accounts you have listed on your credit report. You even got a letter in here for bankruptcies, okay? And if you guys find that though that letter got some of your accounts off, but you still got some left, check out these here, like my late payment dispute letters. And then if you want me to be more hands-on, I do have my membership where I can help you guys start removing your accounts by sending out targeted letters that I know is going to actually work for the accounts that you have listed. Okay. And these packages are only $27. So it's like available to anybody. It's no excuse, honestly, on why you don't have $27 to fix your credit. Because honestly, if you don't have a Excuse me. If you don't have the $27 to fix your credit, you should probably not be fixing your credit. You should just leave it like it is, to be honest. Um, I'm just being honest. Like You should just leave it how it is because what's going to happen is you're going to get credit cards and then you're not going to be able to pay your credit cards back and you're going to mess your credit back up again. I remember going through that stage too. But that's what you have to do. You have to remove them accounts from your credit reports. And then make sure you have four credit cards on your credit reports because that can help boost your credit score up. So even if you're in the 600s and you want to get to the 700s, make sure that you check out these different lists of credit cards because you can get enough credit cards to actually boost your credit score up, which I say about four credit cards. And make sure they report to all three credit bureaus. Some accounts that you may get, like some kickoff accounts too, um, they don't report to all three credit bureaus. So I know I'll talk about kickoff, but that account where they can report a $750 line to your credit report, you may think it's like a credit card. That one is only is going to report to Equifax and Experian, not TransUnion. So you're going to wonder why your TransUnion credit score is very low. I do not count this um, unless they're going to report on all three bureaus. And I've seen a client that they only reported to one bureau. And I'm like, you need to not pay them like, you got $60 you owe them and they report to one bureau. You're better off getting a secure credit card to report to all three credit bureaus. Okay. And let me know if you want me to actually review some files with you and accounts and what I tell people, what I suggest that people actually get their credit scores up because I would be happy to actually do that for you all. And schedule a call on my website too if you guys have any questions. That's going to be right at the top schedule a call. I'll be happy to go over your credit reports with you and tell you, hey, you should do this, this, and that, just to get you a head start, just a second opinion, just to see if you're on the right track or see if I may have some good suggestions for you. But schedule a call and I'll see you guys in the next video.